Kubambisana kwe, njenge imaz, umasibambisana ngeveli. Umko wakuti songe, si shanga, ni sibe fana na nili langa, na esikulu ngubali langa, libali ye, ya buna nani sili buga. In the Southern African Development Community, countries have come together to develop trans-frontier conservation areas with a dream to connect Africa's natural and cultural resources, improve socio-economic development, and promote regional peace and stability. The pioneers that first believed in the goals of TFCAs and subsequently the reason they invested in them was that country borders and protected area boundaries can be an obstacle for wildlife to move. Wildlife normally moves freely, but it doesn't recognize the international boundaries that humans create. Their movement is dictated by the natural rhythm, you know, the flooding patterns, for example, and where they breed, and uh, where they can find the best food for the young ones and for the entire population at a specific time. As tartarugas, elas não sabem onde elas vivem ou que. The concept of, of mm, transfrontalist free movement of communities as well as the wildlife. TFCAs bring together various land use practices consistent under one shared conservation objective, all whilst fostering a healthy relationship with the communities living in and adjacent to TFCAs. In any discussions, local people to me, they are important to be involved because these are the people who knows what is happening within the TFCAs. They are the one who need also to benefit from these TFCAs. Through TFCAs and the establishment of animal migration corridors, ancient migration routes can be conserved. The African elephant population migrated between the countries for decades. They have no idea of, of man-made structures and why they were put there. From Kavango Zambezi, known as Kaza TFCA, home to the largest contiguous transboundary elephant population in the world, to the loggerhead turtles that come ashore in the Lubombo TFCA, this vast network of collaborating countries is a triumph for the ideals of conservation. The idea was first implemented between Botswana and South Africa with the establishment of the Kalahadi Transfrontier Park in 1999. Today, there are 12 transfrontier conservation areas that have been successfully set up across 16 SADC member states. Where conflict existed between people and wildlife previously, there have been effective ongoing programs established that are helping preserve and keep the balance between people and the wildlife that surrounds them. At the heart of this has been the value of local cultures and the socio-economic benefits that come with amplifying local communities. Those people who stay close or adjacent to the national park they face a lot of challenges. Conservation is a big problem if it leaves out the stakeholders. Nowadays, when the community look at us, they look at us as partners, because at the end of the day, we are protecting them from being attacked from wildlife and protecting their revenue where they get the income from. Conservation farming, so farmers are excited. They are not stranded. People have money. Children are going to school. Who are not TFCA? Basifunzi is. Since our first student, Emma hospitality. Laba hambe ba yo funze la. Batekeisha. Se ba ya wati gelom se bendi na boga se ba funzi salaba. The establishment of transfrontier conservation areas is a leading example of what is possible when countries work together. Collaboration between countries is so important because it makes life easy for both countries, for the people living in both countries. It means bringing together the countries 
in protecting the wild natural areas that we have to look after them and also to benefit the communities that are living in those areas. It's about what we give back to our guests, the memories which they take back home. I feel that's more important than anything else. If we all can actually agree and try by all means to bring everyone into the picture, this is going to change our life. We we'll only realize the value of their wetlands, dry lands, or other ecosystems when they are long gone. It goes to show that when we live in unison with nature and share knowledge across borders, we optimize the abundance of fauna and flora that Africa has to offer. Transfrontier conservation areas are thereby ensuring the conservation of our wildlife for generations to come.